All right, everyone. <clears throat> it is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, hopefully everyone had a good weekend. And I took yesterday off, so yeah. Um, you know, I've just been trying to battle this annoying cold, and I finally recovered. But um, yeah, I don't know. For some reason, my body's been having a lot of trouble sleeping lately, and I've only managed to improve it like the past couple of days. I just simply cut out all the ice cream. Even like even even eating a little bit, no matter what time of day, uh, seems to be affecting my sleep cycle. So now, you know, I just uh, scaling back uh, all that. I've been under eating uh, better too, right? But still taking in my protein. Um, so hopefully today I'll be able to lift weights too, because I can already feel my my biceps starting to atrophy a little bit. <clears throat> But you know, past couple of days I was able to improve my sleep. I got an okay night's sleep yesterday, so it's getting better. And now I have to just wait for the post cold uh, get rid of the phlegm part, which is going to be annoying for the next couple of days. So with that being said, um, yeah, what a week! I mean, a lot of um, a lot of riots, a lot of people going crazy. You know, Trump's going to lose, blah blah blah, and uh, quite frankly. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah, this damn fun. But quite frankly, it's just all very annoying, but, you know, that's how it goes. And when Trump loses the election, let's see. Yeah, now he's down 10%. Like, it's it, it's just, it's just, uh, oh yeah, at this point, Trump might as well just resign the presidency. You well, know? so. But the good news is, the Griefer Uprising's being bled very well. Nick knows what he's doing. At some point, I'm not going to even be able to mention um, them anymore. I probably even just have to say Groyper Uprising. <clears throat> or more broadly saying the Zoomer Uprising. And that's going to be pretty safe for me to say. Because now I have to... Because I'm, I'm, I've already accepted that Joe Biden's going to be president. And all the bad shit that's going to happen under the uh, Democrat Party. Um, I'm just curious to see how everyone on the right is going to react. right? And then... Uh, oh, that's the other thing too. Nick Fuente is actively starting to attack Mike Cernovich and the fake right. So... Uh, things are moving along just fine. Uh, fortunately, uh, I don't know. We'll we'll just have to see. You know, empathy is going to be taking a back seat on the right wing, unfortunately. So, uh, so anyway, uh, I did a little bit of research. So let's just see what's out there. Uh, Bitcoin searches for last week is finalized at thirteen. So again, not much happening. You know, not much happening with crypto either. So looks the same as usual. Dominance 64.7%. 24 volume. Wow. 24 hour volume is unusually low at 75 billion. That is very low. That means everyone's just, you know, taking a chill. Interesting. 97.22 for Bitcoin. It's actually been very flat. Uh, Litecoin 46.39. Flat as well. Got my vitamin C chewables. Dog coins basically through 21 million market cap. Uh, Steam, 22.82 cents. Hive, 25.11 cents. Interesting. So the more centralized platform seems to be doing better than the decentralized platform, which makes sense because people like centralization, believe it or not. But we still need decentralization because A, it keeps a check on the centralized assholes and F-words. But of course, it also is just, uh, it's nice to have options. You know, that's what's important because, again, if, ever, if, if everything was owned by one guy, he's just going to price gouge. That's what Intel used to do. That's what John Rockefeller used to do. It's like what all the monopolies do. Right now, the left has a monopoly on social media power, which you can and cannot say. So how does that manifest itself? Well, you know, they just simply ban uh, right-wing viewpoints, mostly, <clears throat> and any real truth talkers. <clears throat> They're just not more aggressive about it. <clears throat> Because they don't have the means just yet, but it's getting there. Right? And with Joe Biden as president for the next eight years, yeah, it's going to be an issue. Um, let's see. And I say eight years because obviously the Democrats are not going to let go once they have once they've retaken control. So it's really going to be up to uh, the Groypers. I guess I should start getting my habits in order. It's all going to be up to Nick and the Groypers, anyone else that wants to follow them, and the Zoomers, to. Uh, correct this but we'll have to see uh yeah in the meantime yeah i've been i finally worked on my game yesterday 
after just taking a week off from that to re- finish my book, The Infinite Game. Um, actually, I haven't even thought about that the past couple of days. Maybe I might need to go back a little bit and read the highlights I did. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I really kind of just want to work on the Clash of Clan game because that's actually going to make the money. It's got the multiplayer already built in. But, I mean, I already kind of worked kind of hard on the fucking tower defense game. Yeah, it might be a good idea just to acclimate myself with the process of uploading to, like, the Android store and all that. So, yeah. So I might as well just finish it, learn the basics, and then move on to finding the Clash of Clans thing. Besides, I... Technically, you could spend 390 bucks, but right now I need to make sure that cryptocurrency is all short up, so, yeah. But anyway, Rebel's doing great. So is RF. Yeah, so I'm making a lot of money. Very nice. I actually checked my stock market account. It's actually around... Actually, I didn't check uh, after yesterday's boom, but it's around, like, 45 grand. So I got another $10,000 to go before I break even. And after, and once all this shit recovers, yeah, then uh, I think it'll be around eighty-five grand, <clears throat> which is fine by me. And then um, I don't know. There's actually an article here that said by this guy. This is actually unusual for Yahoo Finance because there's usually a lot of shit libs here. So I'm actually curious to see because this is actually what I've been saying too. Because what will actually happen? There's like I said, fifty percent chance it's going to be in the short term really bad because you know it's a change in the presidency so things so things that you kind of have to shift around to accommodate oh shit i was expecting this to happen but trump lost, but the president lost the election so now i guess now i gotta readjust my portfolio uh a third of being institutions own crypto assets now this is pretty big bloomberg is actually front page news on yahoo about cryptocurrency we're definitely reading this um <clears throat> Uh, futures, sell losses, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so basically the stock markets went like straight up, like basically when I took my days off along with the riots, which is hilarious. Remember, you know, uh, when there's blood on the streets, like in the riots, now that's when you buy, and that's exactly what rich people are doing. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to drink my water here. God damn it. Yeah, I'm not sure what causes that. Is it just really spilling off of my cup? That's why I want a bigger cup. I also don't mean to cook this. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, it's like we've seen this story before, unless you're brand new to my channel, right? It goes up a lot, it has to come down a little bit, right? So that just happens to be today. But otherwise, we're, we're up way, way higher. JFC Koi, Trucky Log, 7 to 8. Uh, 4 4 coin after going berserk uh, up to 663. It's now stabilizing at like 268 to 410. Still trying to find its real price, but because there's so little supply, you know, it's going to be very high price for a while. So, uh, And on top of that, I've noticed that a lot of these smaller scam exchanges are actually trying to scam us. Uh, uh, that's why I removed unnamed exchange uh, from the announcement, because like, not only did they get the email, but they're claiming they had 1.7 billion in 404 coins, which is bullshit. It's actually mathematically impossible because almost all the coins went to BTC pop and Crex. So the most they could possibly actually have is around 600 million old 404 coins. So they're trying to scam us and it's like pissing me off. And they claim they never got the email. And I see on my Twitter. Oh, yeah, I haven't even checked my Twitter, have I? Uh, well, I guess we could look at my... Oh, God. So I, I, I've been trying to scale back my Twitter usage, too. Uh, let's see. I would be honed in, man, with Razor Focused. Uh, sure. I don't even know what he's talking about. <clears throat> I didn't block him, but next time probably will block. Yeah, so there's actually nothing here. I don't know. What is this? Uh, yeah, Mark. Yeah, I've already...
Do I know for next time? But I know for next time. Okay, so this is like an old whatever. Alright, so yeah, literally nothing. But basically, um, oh, yeah, and is trending. Uh, they get banned or something. Uh, blah, 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 KKK stuff. Well, there's one thing I do like about OAN, is like they have like the hottest women that uh, that work there. <clears throat> okay. Um, I don't know, I don't actually see, like, I don't see anything. Fuck OAN, Trump, all right, next manga cult, sorry if I miss you guys, are just about as far left up jobs out there. This guy's an F word too. Also, I have a poor guy, blah, 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 uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, let's see, what is going on here? Buffalo Barrio, police could be an idea for, I was pushed away after a period of scat police community in order to black out the equipment. Oh, yeah, and I watched, he fell hard and was pushed, was aiming, scanner, could be a setup. So, they're going with, yeah. Oh, yeah, Nick, Nick, uh, I, I gotta stop saying his full name now. Nick has, uh, Miss Hitler. I assume that's Kaylee McKinney. Uh, that's hilarious. Uh, I don't even want to say this. This is hilarious. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want... Okay. How do I, like... There we go. I'll look at it later off stream, but no, I, I, wanna, I don't want to risk reading, actually. Let me just put this over. Actually, I, I keep forgetting. I got to put it in Chrome. Because I do want to read that, but I, I want to make sure my thing doesn't get uh, too crazy, you know? All right. So, but that's... I'm not even going to say that. This is hilarious. And of course, it takes place in Great Britain, so of course they're jailing people for wrong thing. Uh... Nick, Nick Laughlin, I will admit, Nick Laughlin Associates probably did do a good job, but I don't know. I need to see some real data here. I mean, Trump's got to know at this point. He's probably behind now. Uh, yeah, okay, crime and blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's the one that's going to suck, right? Once Joe Biden gets back into presidency, then it's just going to be all, like, fat, old, ugly people, like, uh, uh, running around. Uh, he's complaining about... Mattis, Buffalo, uh, now can you impose the final the list of issues he's flipped up? Yeah, flip-flopping doesn't matter. Uh, blah, 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 NASDAQ, all-time high, yeah. Oh, my God, I'm so sick and tired of reading this shit. All right, Trump still hasn't figured out... Jeez. Anyway, where was I rambling about? Um, I don't even remember where I was rambling about, but yeah. But anyway, scammers everywhere. Just gonna like from now on, uh, there's only gonna be pre-approved by me or Mitch personally. I'm like if the community wants an exchange, they pay for it. There's no exception to this rule. Right? This swap process has taught me a lot. Like, you're a small exchange. You should be doing it for free. I'm not fucking paying you for it. <clears throat> Because you're going to get way more fucking benefit from this than, than, than the other way around. All right, 2 by 2 uh, 86 87 or 85 Holy crap, that's a lot. 85 very strong. So, yeah, so 2 by 2 has been very stable. Uh, Cap on coin, uh, 5000 to 5500 I actually spent a week uh, just compounding 100% my compound coin. Since it's so hard to uh, mint new coins for compound coin, you know, it's just like, yeah, the difficulty has reached a point where it's actually very difficult. This is actually one of the reasons why I think ultimately it's not too big of a deal if the uh, pr uh, coin supply hyperinflates. The problem is Mitch doesn't like it when the price you know looks bad. So um, because it's been compound coin has been at this price for a long time because it's so hard to mint this thing now, <clears throat> and the cap like it like uh, you're actually getting less way less than 250 percent now. Uh, it's probably, you know, simply because it just takes so, it's so hard to compound. So, yeah, that's what we want, price stability. So, I don't know, I guess that's something for me to think about in the future. Uh, James C., uh, we still have to fix this up eventually, you know, clean it up a little bit, and remove the shitty, uh, the shitty exchanges. Alright, let's see, you can buy Coke with Bitcoin, so that's pretty cool. 
Fiat, see, yeah, so uh, adoption, mainstream adoption still continues its march. You know, it's quiet because there's obviously more interesting things for people to worry about, you know, coronavirus, the riots, you know, all this other shit. You know, I imagine, you know, imagine what's going to happen when everyone's like, yeah, Trump got defeated, the Ku Klux Klan got defeated, all the Trump supporters, LMAO, all right, put them all in jail and camps. Fiat faces Bitcoin, uh, flat is going, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I kind of want to read it, but eh, whatever. It, it, this is like such an archaic, very complicated thing. Like, we don't have to worry about the M2 supply thing. Uh, I gotta admit, though, as a finance geek, I am kind of curious. Well, we have a cut to supply. Hmm. Remains on the hunt for 10k is holding in duty. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything. No, nothing new there. Cardano. Uh, don't care about Cardano. <sighs> Secretary of Stock to Flow. Um, yeah, I do like this thumbnail, so we'll use it as a thumbnail in case we don't have any. Jeez. Firefox is such a shitty uh, thing. Uh, Ripple reviews why doesn't know. Bitcoin on chain indicate post housing market capitulation is over. Actually, I, we probably do want to read this. Uh, we'll read that later, though. I want to actually read the more broad economy Trump stuff and the other stuff. Um, okay, nothing here. All right, so Trump's now behind 10%. Uh, oh, we already looked at that. Uh, Fidelity says a, a third of big institutions now own cryptocurrency. Now, this is on Yahoo Finance and covered by Bloomberg. So that's actually a big mainstream deal. But oh, that, that, if you hear that in the background, it's just my Hades stars. I just turned off the uh, music, but not the sound effects. A third of large additional investors own digital assets such as Bitcoin, coin, or survey from Fidelity. Okay, so this is what I... Um, they own crypto or derivatives of crypto. Okay, that's very good. Uh, all right, so rich people are still getting in. Over a quarter of hold Bitcoin, eleven percent hold Ether. Uh, Bitcoin's up thirty-six percent. Um, okay, so twenty-five percent of the rich hold Bitcoin, eleven percent hold Ethereum or Ether, and then I guess the rest is all coins. Europe is perhaps the most supportive of accommodating. No surprise. Uh, you, know, hey, you got a negative rate of trade in Bitcoin may look more attractive because there are other assets that aren't paying a return. Yeah, Bitcoin's the best. So they increase the interest. New investable class. All right, yeah. So it's becoming more mainstream, right? It's like the Gandhi thing. Uh, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, and then they try to fight you, and then you win or something like that okay uh we would own its mad okay so i just want to know what is this uh should own its own main prime mac we play chips from intel oh okay i thought they were moving like the plant or something so i don't need to read this all right so there are that's hilarious macintosh was using intel chips instead of their own chips uh see jobs were alive he would never allow something like that uh, why low tax rates are benefiting from, um, I kind of want to listen to this, but, uh, <clears throat> at least in some major cities like here in New York city, uh, we've certainly heard from a lot of tech companies, uh, Twitter in the very beginning saying that they, uh, will allow some workers to work from home permanently. Facebook yesterday coming out and saying uh, that maybe 50% could work from home over the next five to 10 years. And then we got this news today from Box's CEO saying the company will allow workers to work from anywhere at least until 2021 with work stipends as well as health benefits. Uh, Jen, I wanna bring you into the conversation here because you know, I guess the, the question is really, you know, are these tech companies doing this because they are in a position to do it? And how permanent is this work from home likely going to be? Uh, I mean, look, it is, I think there's some workers that are asking for it and the tech companies have the ability to do it. This is the way their businesses are run. They have the technology, they have extra money to throw at this problem. But in terms of what it's going to look like long term, I've been talking to some people that say maybe the pendulum is going to come back. People, some people want to go to the office. It's kind of like the rush to the public cloud that we had. And then we've seen this move yeah. to hybrid because <clears throat> You need to have people thought, well, actually for security, I want to have some stuff here at the office. So the same way, a lot of people are starting to think about this hybrid work where you will be able yeah, to, to the office if you want, 
or work virtually. That's actually though more expensive, right? Because you still have to have the real estate. So in the end, they might not be saving that much if that's what employees eventually demand because they want to still have that face to face with uh, their other. Yeah, that's totally true. That's what I would want, right? You know, I'm like 99% just always in my apartment. I still like to go out once in a while and then just I don't have to talk to him. I just see people there, right? I recently went to the, you know, my local dry cleaners. You know, I struck up a conversation like, how, how's the riots and lockdown treating your business? Right? She told me, yeah, I mean, and she said, uh, it's not that bad. However, because no one's going to work, I don't. we're not making much money off of suits because no one's wearing suits. Like, why? Oh, I didn't even think of that. So, yeah. So, you see, it's stuff like that that I like, you know? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but with that being said, yeah, it's more expensive for companies, but they can afford it. Plus, it's better for the employee anyway, because like you'll you have better employee morale, and they won't go crazy. Plus, you get you make it back with um, increased production, right? Because if an employee is not wasting his or her time spending two to two and a half hours going back and forth using commuting and shit, well, guess what they're gonna do with that? Either relax so that when they do work, they're more they're more productive. Or because they're not worn out mentally and emotionally, or they'll just simply do more work because, well, you know, they're at home. <laughs> it's, yeah, so it totally evens out. It's, it's great. It's great. And of course, all the environmentalists will stop bitching about the fucking global warming. Uh, workers there. There is a question, though, if you allow or if you start to recruit based on sort of this remote work from home scenario, um, are we going to potentially see people work out of some of these areas that are more expensive, uh, like the Bay Area? Mm -hmm. uh, we put that question to uh, Alexis Ohanian, who is the co-founder of Reddit, as well as Initialize Capital, about who or which states. Yeah, because when I start hiring my employees, I don't have a fucking office. That shit's all going to be at home work, man, remote work. <laughs> are likely to benefit as a result <clears throat> of this shift. Where are all the men in this video? Okay, it looks like... It's ...that are likely to benefit going on for us. These tech companies are committing to, in a case like Facebook or Twitter... The area just, which found that internal Facebook survey... ...remote work environment. To a certain extent, I mean, we saw Mark Zuckerberg's comments and even that internal Facebook survey, which we should take with a grain of salt, which found that 50% of Facebook's employees say they're just about as productive in the office as they are at home, which means that 50% actually feel more productive in the office. So my thinking here is that a lot of these tech companies that have already tried to diversify their office space, uh, really centering on Austin, of course, a lot of the um, you know, whether it's Crystal City or Crystal Springs um, in the D.C. area, just thinking about all of the new sort of up and coming cities which have gotten pricey to begin with. So I, I do expect there to be some movement, some rejostling, people who want to be able to buy a house, who do work at tech companies, who haven't been laid off, who are able to get into the market, uh, even though we haven't seen home prices stabilize yet. Um, I do anticipate there will be some of that action, but it's very much an overblown narrative as we've encountered over the last couple overblown of years. And, and Melody, I guess that the counter to that is that are we going to see a more diverse workforce, especially with tech companies? There's been so much talk about how it is very insular. They recruit within, they recruit within specific regions. Now they don't necessarily uh. have to be from there and they don't have to be able to afford living in that area either. Exactly. And, you know, even the concept of seasonal workers, right, on the blue blue collar front, we can see a sort of parallel universe happening with these tech huh. companies who perhaps uh, in light of Cyber Monday or in light of Amazon Prime Day, even from the corporate side of things, they could uh, invest more in R&D, invest more in marketing. And basically those employees can be anywhere. We have seen the very wide spectrum of how tech companies mm -hmm. have thought about working from home <clears throat> pre-pandemic, right? And the likes of Facebook were actually very much on the far end where they facilitated that a lot. That was very possible. Whereas the Amazons of the world had uh, kind of looked down upon that approach. And I have huh. quite a few colleagues and friends who work at Amazon who prior to the pandemic were chastised for working from home, even if they were given the option. So this sort of judgment uh, will no longer uh, be able to exist, especially when the executives, the chief executives. Are so Jeff Bezos is like, no, you're coming into work. Fuck you. Uh, oh, it's coronavirus. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> They're coming out saying that they will accommodate this new normal.
And just in terms of the uh, salary arbitrage that we've been talking about, you know, people being able to keep their same salary, move to a state maybe that doesn't have taxes or has a lower cost of living. Remember yesterday. Oh, yeah, that's going to affect sell wages, too hear from Facebook that um, if you, you moved, that they would readjust your salary. And that is something that we could likely see from other companies. And remember- Yeah, if they readjust it downward, because now it's not as expensive, that benefits someone like me. Like, I can't, you know, like, if I, if I think the average of a game developer salary is like 50 grand a year, but, well, I mean, it's already pretty cheap. But let's say it was like 75 or 100 grand. Maybe now I can get it back down to like 50K we are seeing reductions in salaries already having nothing you know not doing with people getting to stay home longer but from advertising companies to media companies we've had huh. a number of them come out and just say okay we're just cutting salaries 15 percent we're cutting salaries 20 percent so as part of this transition that might become a recurring narrative as well Yes, certainly a, a number of elements to be watching um, as these offices determine how their workplace is going to look like when they the real all right. Uh, pause. 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 Oh, God. Auto play. Auto refresh. And then auto load a different page. Like it, it, it cannot get more fucking annoying than that. Pause. All right. Now, because I need this thing to stop draining my bandwidth. Not that I have to worry about it, but. Uh. But yeah. Um. God. God, what was it for that stupid uh, auto refresh? What was I gonna say? I know it's something to do with salaries. Oh yeah, automation, immigration, um, and just more people learning. Like right now, a lot of people are learning how to code, right? I, like I was actually getting emails from Zenva, like stuck at home, learn to code, right? Essentially, right? I bet they're actually getting a lot of conversions for that. So yeah, there's gonna be more people. Like this could actually like. This is great for me personally because I'm not looking to get a job, obviously. But it, um, it's really nice for well, it could be yes and no for everyone else. Like, yeah, your salary will probably go down because now there's more people doing what you're doing, especially coding. But you know, it also result in well, you know, but things are cheaper. I get to work from home, blah blah. blah. So I'm kind of curious to see how it all works out. And then eventually, the 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 real hammer, the true hammer, comes out uh, comes out to play, right? Immigration, uh, automation, especially automation um and artificial intelligence so yeah and i'll get my first taste of it when i make the clash of clans game because it comes with something called a helios ai so art so you know to, to tell the enemies what to do and stuff so i'm really curious to see about all that the trump isn't reelected as president here's what may happen to corporate profits higher corporate taxes and personal tax too lower probably lurking in 2020 if joe biden wins which he will so just Goldman Sachs. The billion dollar question is whether, whether markets would tank in the lead up to signs of a trope buying. That, that's what I've been talking about. That's era of higher taxes and immunity is inevitable. Well, here's the difference, though. Uh, I'm thinking under the... It's possible that other Democrats will have tax breaks, right? Because Trump basically eliminated all the tax breaks. Um, and the Democrats were actually pretty mad about that. Now, the Democrats get in, they'll raise taxes, but you'll get more tax breaks, which effectively lower your tax rate. So basically, if you don't take advantage of the tax breaks or you're not qualified to get them, which is, which disproportionately affects conservatives, of course, uh, then, yeah, you're kind of screwed. So it'd be kind of interesting to see how it plays out. Great class, most support equity market implications of potential higher corporate tax rates. Uh, Trump tax to twenty one percent from thirty five. Turn the federal court fell to ninety percent. The lower tax to unleash higher corporate profits. Right, he did a fresh wave of stock buybacks. Verdict still have core have up capital investment. The U.S. started to touch at all time high in the nitty. Larger Joe Biden's plan to will look like is likely to look rather different. Biden's tax plan. We'll lift the federal tax rate domestic income to 20% from 21%. Uh, in addition, it would double the guilty tax rate for foreign income, imposing a minimum tax rate of 15%, and additional payroll tax on higher earners. Though it adds that change of the federal tax could be made too, clearly income, an increase in the tax would apply to capital gain and dividends for high income earners. Yeah, usually it's been actually 20%. Right now it's 15%, and then Democrats like to push it back to 20%. But in general, it's usually a lot lower than um, uh, than the ordinary tax rate. So what does this mean? The domestic income from twenty one percent is this right? This is not 
Is this regular income tax? Why is it called it? Uh, what? I think this is still talking about corporate tax rates. So he's going to raise it from 21 to 20, which is still less than the 35%. But the cutoff is actually 33%. 35 is like you got 2% 3% dead weight. So in other words, uh, nobody benefits from the increased tax rate, not even the government. You're literally just throwing away money. So 33% would be better. Should these tax changes kick in? The process of the corporate diet, 26%. Oh, that's right. That's right. You try to drop twelve percent to a dollar fifty. D. Okay. I.e. Capital D. First trades could serve a prior property. Uh, how the matter? I'm gonna try to capitalize the former. Okay. He's concerned about the prospect of higher taxes that are buying now, and how the manufacturing renaissance under Trump has kept alive a former. Uh, well, I think Joe Biden's pretty pro-China, which is pretty much everyone else, because again, China is probably funding the Democrat Party, and then the Republicans are funded by. Um, the unnamed and uncriticizable country in the Middle East that cannot be named or criticized. So, uh, yeah. Ultimately, Bliss said the market will start pricing an election risk until midway through the third quarter as debate seasons begins and election day comes more into focus. Uh, no, nah, that's well. First of all, there's supposed to be a debate, but there's it's as long as it's not in public, Joe Biden will always have the advantage because it'll just be like a work from home. It'll be like a debate from home kind of bullshit. So, and then I already mentioned this before. Joe Biden will all have his handlers behind the camera feeding him, like, you know, uh, answers. Others in the market say higher taxes are a small price to pay right now for a chain of leadership inside of White House trying to deal with a major health and a growing social unrest. Um, this is something we're certainly concerned about. Yeah, this is exactly the whole point was to, you know, create change. And then the problem is most of the Republican Party is just bitching and complaining about China still, right? Uh, but then luckily, uh, Karma, as always, is sending God bless Nick Fuentes and the Groiper Uprising and possibly the Zoomers to just simply retaliate against the fake right. So everything is all as it should. Unfortunately, the price uh, that's going to be paid is, yeah, the Democrats retake control in November of everything so uh censorship taxes uh and probably uh some kind of hostility towards cryptocurrency too um so uh it's gonna be it's gonna suck but at least you know hopefully uh the republicans will finally realize hey this was all a lie and then they'll turn on everybody in the fake right and then mike sternovich is gonna have to face the music right you know he, he's he, he's not gonna be able to master persuade his bull, uh, bullshit his way out of this one um, so, uh, that is something we're certainly concerned about. Client wise, how are they going to take that hit? They realize that for the trailer, for the ground, I feel like changes. I feel like, yeah, because you're full of shit lib idiots. All right, let's see. Uh, what are the retards in finance saying? They never really pay tag. Their chosen. Okay, I'm not reading this thing. It's got a lot of upvotes, so. Ontario <clears throat> effective corporate tax rate fell at 19 percent. Large time only high growth rate. Uh, best of all, fresh rate very slow. What? He's just. Oh no! They're never going to come out like they end up paying no federal income tax. Uh, last week I've been giving every tax on the rail. Global tax high growth will reduce it as only gets closer to the world. Large time only higher corporate the tax did not for so many individual wage earners wages stayed stagnant. Yeah, exactly. I actually paid a little more tax under Trump. So, uh, yeah, like Trump, Trump's just it's like his ability to govern from a politics point of view is just completely fucking retarded, right? And he and like you know he bullshitted his way through the presidency, right? You know, I remember I supported it, right? Because you know the alternative was even worse. And Trump really is just fucking retarded. All right, he he still thinks uh, if he spams enough about the fucking economy here, of course spamming this fake right f word, Ben Shapiro. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not even going to whatever. Like the people of Minneapolis, oh, I forgot to turn off my alarm. The people of Minneapolis have made their choice, so you know they'll get what they deserve. So they'll get what they deserve, as the Joker would always say. Now, can they can they make it work? Possibly. Um, I know the dissident right website that I cannot name or hint at anymore totally is in support of the solution, but I don't know, man. I meh. we'll have to see, man. Because I figure, I mean, it's gonna be how you gonna have something like worse than California, right, where everybody robs each other and cops are like they don't do anything. So the only difference is. 
instead of cop, instead of you being able to blame the cops, you'll just be able to blame your community. So it's like, yeah. Well, he said that they're. Oh, we already read that. We watched that. We we're reading this. Um, okay, this is the last article for the day. Uh, this is my thumbnail. Yeah, so that, yeah, that, that one's gonna cause an epileptic seizure. Bitcoin on, on chain. I'm, well, where am I getting all my money from? Oh, yeah, I really got to play my Hades star. Like, I'm already capped on my hydrogen, which is like your resource that allows you to do anything in the game. Uh, Bitcoin on the hydrogen. Uh, I chase the suggests the much feared post housing market capitulation which has blamed for a large selling in the past is now over as might have begin to favor accumulation. Well, yeah, they have the cash because people don't want to dump crypto. They only, I don't want to dump my crypto, but I do it because I need money. Right? I need cash. I need. I still need my fiat. All right. But, you know, that doesn't mean like, oh, you know, crypto sucks, right? Like, no, it's the complete opposite, you know? Uh, MPI, I mean, I won't have this problem once, you know, this bull run, hopefully the bull run is a lot higher, right? Like like 500K to a million dollars for Bitcoin. Um, especially if it's a Joe Biden presidency. Like once the short-term shock of, you know, Trump losing is priced in and people look to a future, you know, because again, Democrats can't go too crazy what they do because they need to make sure that the corporations, like the you know your Bank of America, is your Black Lives Matter people. So that's basically everyone in the world. They get to keep their money, right? The people who suffer, the middle class, and well, it's really just the middle class, right? Poor people don't work or do anything anyway, so they get free welfare anyway. So they're they're a sunk or fixed cost that happens regardless. Right, but it's the it's the conservatives, the rural people, the Midwesterners that just get you know fucked in the ass without their consent. Uh, luckily, I'm not one of them, so I never was, right? Because I that's why I'm always a technologist, right? You know, and conservatives just kept a more open mind, open heart, and developed some empathy, and then therefore have creativity. They wouldn't have this problem either, and then you know Joe Trump would get reelected. But hey, you know what? Nobody wants to fucking listen to me. So, again, you get what you deserve. So, yeah. Meanwhile, data crypto intelligence firm, uh, sports knowledge that Bitcoin miners are in accumulation mode. Glass nodes, minor outflow, multiple reads at what? Uh, Bitcoin miners on the base wells uh, really have a significant impact. A month after the second we dropped over. A month after the second halving 2016, Bitcoin's now dropped over 30%. Yeah, that's what I remember, but the charts don't show that. Uh, yeah, see, when I looked at the chart, it didn't even look like anything like this. It didn't certainly didn't have this drop. Coming into the third halving, many fear that history will appear so sort of as avoid a significant retracement. I mean, it's because it's more mature, there's a lot more players in the game and a lot more people demanding it. So, I mean, it is, it is different than it is different than before, but not completely different. That's what we're trying to figure out is like how different is it or how similar is it? Uh, but the good news is the uh, accumulation phase has started, so it works for me. Um, what's it, again, uh, 24 hour value is just dead. No one wants to buy, but no one wants to sell either. So, I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, let's see. Ah, you know what? This is gonna be the thumbnail, so we can get rid of that. Um, yeah. All right. So anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page, so we can continue uh, growing this channel. Uh, it's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be pretty bad. Um. Uh, you know, the far left is going to be in control in November at the rate things are going. Trump still continues to be retarded. So, um, and Republicans and conservatives are still being duped by the fake right. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and I'm not being promoted anymore. So, because, you know, I actually have critical thinking. So, you know, I'm a, th I'm, a th I'm a threat to the fake right, too. So, all right. You know, they get what they deserve. I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. And, uh,. Yeah, I actually feel physically good. Ah, oh, finally. It's been like a week, essentially. Judson Chan, JMC Coy, 404 Coin, and, um, yeah, tr tr Trump's toast. He's toast.